I never heard anything particularly bad about the SD60 series EMDs other than they look just like the SD50 series EMDs, which was never a good thing. I think that the biggest problem that the SD60s and Jeep60s had was the bad taste left in people's mouths by the SD50s and GP50s. And in the time that it took EMD to work out the bugs and introduce the 60 series engines, GE introduced their Dash 8 line which toppled EMD from its plateau and from which they've never been able to reclaim. Now EMD no longer exists, at least not the way that we knew it. But the SD60s had their issues too according to workers who called them junky and claimed that they always were blowing oil. Conrail had 25 SD60s, 75 SD60Ms, and 80 SD60Is if memory serves me proper. Today, all but a few of the NSSD60s have either been retired, rebuilt into SD60Es, sold off, or scrapped. On the other side, most of their 50 Jeep 60s are still going strong to this day and are loved by the crews as they're said to be the ultimate smooth riding 4-axle diesel. The ones that crews seemed to hate were Santa Fe's GP60Ms. The wide cab was too heavy and weighted down the front of the engine making for a really rough ride. In all, Santa Fe contributed 40 Jeep 60s, 23 Jeep 60Bs, and 63 Jeep 60Ms to the huge BNSF merger on New Year's Day, 1997. The BNSF used to run those Oakways all over their system and beyond and they also bought the three demonstrators that all somehow ended up on CSX. They had 100 SD60M, some of whom were the Triclops units, 14 were sold to PRLX and 9 ended up on the NS's numbers 6807 through 6815. Then there were the 55 additional SD60s that Union Pacific got when they swallowed up the Chicago Northwestern. CNW's 60s were built to Sioux line specs. Sioux was unable to take delivery due to financial conditions and the order was passed on to the CNW. Union Pacific used to use SD60Ms heavily on the Phoenix line and still has most of their SD60Ms and even rebuilt a few as the SD59MX. The CNW SD60s were retired by UP and sold off to CRIX and Helm Leasing who sold a lot of them to NS for rebuilding into SD60Es. Southern Pacific going into the Union Pacific had the largest Jeep 60 fleet at 198 units, 100 from SP, 95 from the Cotton Belt, and 3 from the Rio Grande. UP still has a few of the Jeep 60s running around, some still in Southern Pacific and Cotton Belt paint, and the Bensef still has some Jeep 60s, Jeep 60Ms, and Jeep 60Bs running around. There are a couple of outcast Jeep 60s floating around, two ex-Texas Mexicans and one for the United States Department of Energy. The DOE unit now led it for the Savannah River Site Nuclear Research Center in South Carolina and the two Tex-Mexes were brought back in 2011 by BNSF like we talked about in video T137. Canadian Pacific still has several SD60s and a few SD60Ms by way of the Sioux line and as you learned in the video T139, they used to be an everyday site in the region. 
The Indiana Railroad's SD60s are ex Sioux lines. CP returned the first order when their lease expired and 11 of them went to the Indiana Railroad and CEFX got the rest. Canadian National had their cowl-bodied SD50Fs and SD60Fs and NS had their ex-Conrail SD60M and SD60Is. All SD50Fs have been retired, sold off, or scrapped. The Dakota, Missouri Valley and Western picked up five of the units with two other units going to the Short Line Montana Limestone Company at Warren, Montana. Even though the 60 series locomotives didn't have the problems of the 50 series locos or the fact that they looked a lot like the 50 series engines or the huge single orders of the 70 series that followed, a la BNSF 70 Max and UPST 70 Ms, they seem to be notable for not being notable. When all said and done and the scorecard is tallied up, the 60 series locomotives did what they were built to do and did it well, without much fuss or much fanfare. Putting it a little simpler, I think maybe that one of the reasons that the 60 series got overlooked somewhat is because the 50 series got so much bad press as their problems became more and more apparent. And by the time the hype finally settled down surrounding the 50 series diesels, EMD was announcing their 70 series lineup. The 60 series and especially the 50 series EMDs had their problems but they were great looking locomotives in their original form.